Hey YouTube, this is Calls2, and this is a tutorial about the difference between opacity and fill when dealing with layers, and then opacity and flow when dealing with brushes. And so let's start off with the layers one first. And so I'm just going to start off by making a new layer, and then we'll take out our rectangle and marquee tool, and just draw out a square or a rectangle, whatever you'd like. And then underneath your gradient tool, so if you click and hold on your gradient tool, there's the paint bucket tool. I'm going to just click in the paint bucket tool right here, right inside, and so it outlines it. Next thing I'm going to do is double click your new layer that you just made with the blue square and then I'm going to click drop shadow. And so then I'm, I want to make sure this opacity is at 100% and blending mode, blend mode doesn't matter. And then if you click and hold over here you can change where you want the drop shadow to be which is kind of a cool thing. So you can see over here the angle and the distance are changing. And then we'll just set the drop shadow right there. Cool. And go OK. And then, so right now I'm just going to turn down the opacity. So if we turn down the opacity, you see that the drop shadow and the uh, square itself is changing opacities and becoming lighter. But if I change just the fill, then just the blue square is changing opacities or it's becoming more transparent. But the layer effects is still in there. And so you can see I could almost, I can even turn the fill all the way off. And then I just have this outline of this black drop shadow. And turn the fill up, and see. So, so only the layer itself gets uh, more transparent, but not the layer effects. Cool. Then we'll delete this one, and now we'll talk about make a new layer. Now we'll talk about brush settings. And so over here, there's opacity and flow. And how opacity and flow work is opacity is the transparency of your brush, and the flow, which is directly from the book. I have the book right in front of me, and it says flow sets the rate at which color is applied as you move the pointer over an area. So the rate at which the color is applied. So let's check this out. So if we go over here, flow, flows at a 100% and opacity is at 100%. This um, is 100% oh, you know, all the way and it's pretty solid, it's pretty solid color. Next let's turn the opacity down to about 50% and I'm sure you guys know what this is going to do. It just turns down the opacity right there. Next is the flow. And so let's turn the flow down to about 50% right here. So if we click and hold, and the opacity is at 100. And then you can see here that the flow makes uh, more intermediate dots and more intermediate samples as you go. So we'll turn down the flow even more. And we'll just, oops. And we'll just drag down. And you can see here that it makes even more dots. And so it just makes it more intermediate steps, and so it changes the rate at which the color is applied. And I'm going to pause the video right now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have opacity to 100%, then flow 100%, 90%, 80%, 70%, just so I don't want to waste your guys' time. So hold on. All right, so now we're back. And so 100%, 90%, 80%, 70 60 50 40 30 all the way down. And so let's just take a close-up look here. So right here we have 100%, 90%, 80%. You see it starts to shine through right here. 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. And I also did 5%. I don't know how if YouTube's color is going to show that or not. But so that's the difference between opacity and flow. Go have fun with it. Message me if you have any tutorials or if you'd like to see any tutorials put up here. Thanks.